Hey everyone, this is Keith here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to install the Brutal Doom mod and a Doom source board so that you can play the mod on an Arch Linux system. Uh, so yeah, anyway, the first thing you're going to need to do is look up Brutal Doom in any search engine and you, you'll find the uh, mod DB page for Brutal Doom. Um, I will put a link in the description to this page. This is the official page of uh, Brutal Doom, the mod. But once you're on the mod DB page for Brutal Doom, you just click on this uh, download section right here. This will give you a list of downloads. Now, at the time of uh, recording this video, the latest version is version 20B. Um, so anyway, yeah. But the instructions should be the same, you know. No matter, uh, I don't think the instructions change. You know, I think no matter what version, even. Uh, you know five versions from now it should be the same installation process so anyway yeah you have a couple options here you have the uh, brutal doom mod itself which is just a wad mod uh, and then the soundtrack mod as well but what we're, what we're gonna do is to sort of streamline this process we're gonna download the brutal doom hell on earth starter pack and what this is is this is essentially you know the mod itself plus the music mod and just everything you need including a wad file from the free doom project and it's all just you know packed into one so that you can just run it and have no uh, issues and not have to fool around with many things now this uh, hell on earth starter pack also comes with a version of GZ doom um, however that is a windows version it gives you an exe so you will have to download a compatible source port to use with brutal doom um, the project uh, states that it is officially supported, or not officially, but it uh, states that it is, does work on Xandronum, which is a Skulltag fork. It's like a multiplayer oriented uh, Doom client. And GZ Doom, and, you know, Z Doom, and stuff similar to that, uh, forks of that uh, engine. Uh, we're going to use GZ Doom, but anyway, we'll get to that in a second. The first thing you're going to want to do is download the uh, file right here you just click the download now button and it downloads a zip file to your computer uh, see so anyway I have my terminal open here um, you can really do this with a graphical file manager as well I just increased the font size that way you guys can see a little better I'm gonna go ahead and CD into my um, downloads folder which whenever I download something is where the files go obviously so I'm gonna go ahead and type in unzip and you just find the uh, zip file and then you just you know hit enter and that's it and it'll actually all unzip it all into a directory so you see here I have all the files here so this is what uh, gets unzipped when you unzip it you get a manual rich text format uh, you get the hell on earth starter pack wad you get the uh, free doom wad the brutal doom uh, the actual mod itself and the pk3 uh, extra textures wad and you also get like I said you also get some files for running the Windows version like you see here you have an exe and you have the uh, DLL that's for the Windows version so we're not going to be using those but this pack does give you all the wads and it's just a lot more convenient and easier to set up so that's why I recommend doing it so yeah um, so now we got that downloaded the next step is to download a uh, GZ Doom which I find is the easiest uh, source port to uh, the easiest brutal doom compatible source port to set up uh... so yeah it's it's fairly easy on arch linux uh... all you gotta do is go to the aur and look up gz doom and uh... yeah it's right there so yeah and uh... you know if you want to do this manually if you don't use an aur helper such as yaort you know you download the snapchat you download the snapshot uh, you of course uncompress the folder, go into it, make package dash s, all that. Uh, but if you use yaort, which I recommend, because really, if you deal with a lot of aur packages, it just makes things a lot easier. You know, you can just type s u y a, and then g z doom, then hit enter, enter your password, of course, and then that'll go ahead and fetch the package from the aur and install it for you. Uh, GZ Doom does have a, a good bit of dependencies, so if I'm going to go ahead and bring that back up, I'm not sure why I closed that uh, page actually. 
Uh, you don't have a lot of dependencies, but there is a few. You know, you have F Modex, which is another AUR package. Uh, and it, you know, there's a little bit uh, here, but you know, most people have this stuff already, such as you know, CMake, OpenAL. That's really basic stuff. You know, not too much. <laughs> So yeah, and once you have GZ Doom installed and ready, if you're not using Arch Linux, it is a bit more complicated because you don't have the AUR to help you, uh, especially with Debian because Debian has this weird mix of old and new packages, and I think uh, Debian's version of uh, GZ Doom is really old, so you got to go through a lot of nonsense to compile it and stuff. Uh, but yeah, on Arch Linux, it's fairly straightforward. All I did was literally, you seen that's it, and then install GZ Doom. So once you have it installed. The, uh, you're going to want to type in GZ Doom. When you want to be in the directory, you want to be in the uh, directory that you unpacked. You know, like when we downloaded the zip file earlier, we unpacked it. This is, you want to go and CD in that directory before you execute GZ Doom. So we're just going to go ahead and type in GZ Doom, and we're going to want to type dash wad, or excuse me, dash i wad. And we're going to want to, you know, make sure that the free Doom wad is marked as the iwad that's the main wad file you know what i mean we have to make sure that it, we tell gz doom to load its levels and etc from this and then what we do is for each additional sort of mod we just type file dash file and then we you know we uh click on brutal doom here and then dash file and we type in extra textures and we just make sure we don't do any of the dlls or inis or exes we just do all the pack actually we don't have to do the gz doom file but we do have to do all the wads uh, so yeah that's basically all we're doing is we're just um you know we're just making sure that we um you know type dash file for every uh file that the mod requires so anyway yeah once you've got all those uh highlighted just hit enter and then there you go gz doom will start and there you go with the brutal doom mod now one thing I do recommend, uh, wow, it's actually playing out of my speakers, is going under custom controls and setting all this up, uh, you know, make sure it's all set properly. And you also have options down here for reloading and stuff, you know, make sure you set those properly. And as you can see, it's a really tiny window. So we should really get in here and change that before I go into game. Wow, that is tiny. Um... Where is 1080 by 1920? Or no, 1920 by 1080. Yeah, this is rough. Let me just. Oh, that doesn't work. Aspect ratio 16 by 9. There we go. Yeah, there we go. And of course, you know, make sure you go into display, OpenGL, and set up all your, uh, you know, texture filtering options and all that to make the game look pretty. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, we're just going to go ahead and go into new game. And you have a class here. Uh, then you pick the chapter and then the difficulty and uh, There you go. You're ready to start playing Brutal Doom. This mod's actually changed a bit since I've uh, Last used it. There's actually a bunch of stuff going on now. Like you can actually roll now, which is uh, interesting uh, I think uh, the last version I played was version 18 uh, I don't work quite recall, but I don't remember there being rolling. Of course you have the of course, you have the uh, <laughs> insults and stuff that you can do, and the kicks, which is you know kind of like from Duke Nukem. And you have your aim down sights, and there's just a lot of cool things you can do with this mod. It does a lot of sort of uh, modernization, but sort of the good things about mo of modern games, you know, like be able to aim down sights and stuff like that. But it also doesn't compromise the uh, you know feeling of Doom or the speed of Doom. It's still a very fast-paced, hectic uh, game. Of course, you can punch people like that. There's also like all kinds of brutal fatalities and stuff you can perform, half performed on you. Uh, just a great mod. You can. Uh, it's amazing what people can do with such an old game. Uh, you know, just when it's com uh, completely fueled by passion, uh, you can do some pretty amazing uh, projects. So, yeah, and I mean, you have things like reloading, crouching, jumping. I've been actually jumping a little bit. Uh, the uh, the mod does state that to play these maps you do want jumping because there are certain secrets and stuff which are just a lot uh, easier to get with jumping. In fact, I think you need to jump in order to get to them. Yeah, you know, it's a very uh, well-made map. Packs. I think these maps are part of 
uh, the Free Doom Iwad, I'm pretty sure. Um, at least some of these are definitely, like the uh, water uh, contamination area or whatever it's called, the water filter area is uh, definitely from the uh, Free Doom uh, Iwad 6. I remember using it myself. I just got lit on fire there. Uh, so yeah, that's Brutal Doom, uh, and that's how to install it on Arch Linux. So yeah, if you use Arch Linux, you know, good for you. It makes it really simple to set up. Uh, Brutal Doom and GZ Doom. It's really straightforward. Uh, Brutal Doom doesn't have an AUR package, which actually surprises me. I think that would be a, a great thing to do. Make it even really even one less step to set it all up. Anyway, yeah, thank you guys for watching. This has been Keith on how to install Brutal Doom on Arch Linux. Uh, fairly straightforward. Very simple process. Thank you guys for watching. Keith signing out.